Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, America's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. I'm Michael Horn. That's Paul Stern joining us on the show. And, uh, Paul, I mentioned uh, that the new fall TV season officially gets underway uh, on the networks and on a lot of the cable systems on Monday. But there's been a few uh, uh, previews, if you will, and NBC has uh, jumped the gun on a, a couple of shows. I mean, they had that America's Got Talent was going all summer long, and they had the, uh, the finalists on that. And right after that show the other night, they premiered this new Jimmy Smith show called Outlaw that I was telling you about. And I believe it's running again tonight. And we have Carly Pope, who stars in that series, Outlaw, opposite uh, Jimmy Smith, says Lucinda Pearl. And uh, Carly, is the show airing again tonight? Is that correct? It is airing again tonight. Yeah, we've got a, a second shot to, to grasp the viewers. So <laughs> oh, this it is, is airing tonight at 10. This is a great show. And welcome to the broadcast. You are incredible. You sort of a... a I hate to say this, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you sort of provide the sex appeal in the show, if you will. I mean, Jimmy Smith is a good-looking guy, but he doesn't do it for me, if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, uh, give us a little background on your character and the series and, and what kind of the uh, the storyline is. Well, firstly, thank you very much for that compliment. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, you're very welcome. So <laughs> the, <laughs> the general premise of the show is obviously um, – Cyrus Garza, who's played by Jimmy Smith, is the Supreme Court justice that decides that his role on the bench is pretty thankless and wants to uh, leave and start a private practice in order to assist the individual as opposed to assist the system, which he has now realized is quite flawed. So he um, does that. He starts his own private practice. He assembles sort of a dream team around him of people from various backgrounds and um points of view, and we go around the country taking on cases that often are sort of taken from the current headlines and, and what's, to what's topically currently going on with, um, with the nation. And uh, yeah, we take, on, we take on these various cases that, that will have sort of inherent debate within them, especially because Garza is coming from a conservative uh, point of view, and he's got you know other people around him that that don't have that same point of view a lot of the time. So it's uh, it's a little bit of a hybrid procedural, I'd say. I don't think it's a straight procedural show. I think there's a lot of characterization. There's a lot of character elements to it that that hopefully will and you guys um, keep people intrigued. You shot how many episodes so far? About six, seven episodes, maybe. I think yeah. I think we've shot. I think we're shooting right now our six. So how does it feel for pilot. you? Because I think it's we always talk about great writing and then great acting and the uh, marriage of those two. Are you is are the writers capturing it? Is it kind of fun to, as you're uh, as the as the series continues, your character is developing? Are you loving it? Yeah, you know, I feel I feel really lucky. I've actually, for the most part, you know, the show is episodic in nature, whereby we have you know each episode is sort of a, a closed episode in and of itself. But I love that. What's going on now is my my character. Uh, Lucinda has sort of a three-episode arc with a storyline that's going on for her. So I love that's, that. that's really fun. It's always a pleasure to play that, and I really appreciate that the writers are are taking the opportunity to kind of give her more of a more of a dimension or more of a voice or more of you know just just giving the audience a little bit more information on her because as you know in the pilot you don't see a lot of of her she just kind of comes in with one line interjections that are often sarcastic or <laughs> full of innuendo and to we me, like that. that that's good that was what yeah well it was it was the ch it was a challenge you know because it's kind of going well what why is she doing that you know Who i had is, yeah. to ask myself as as right. the actor like why why is she why does she have so much armor around her and and to me it's you know it's fun to kind of create and craft that and that's the fun that part to me. That that's the great part of wa watching yeah. an actor and actress is uh, you know especially at the beginning episodes, already the character is supposed to exist and you out of nowhere have to pull these elements in and then as the episodes go along they give you a little more and a little more and you start to hone that and, and from from early and I saw the I was at the upfronts and saw a little preview of the show and. Uh, 
you know, I've cut my teeth on Perry Mason with, uh, you know, Paul Drake as the private investigator. You take private investigating to a new level. I mean, Paul Drake was a little unconventional in his day, calling, uh, you know, Della Street beautiful. I mean, you're kind of a little wild private investigator, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, she's definitely, I would say Lucinda really um, captures the title of the series in that she is probably the most lawless. Yep. Of the bunch, um, pr- pretty certainly, actually, and uh, and for that matter, you know, her her unorthodox um, style is what kind of uh, brings her into the fold, I think, because Garza wants her around to kind of push buttons and and um, muddy the water a little bit, you know, make make things a little bit more gray, and and yeah, I think that you know, eventually, hopefully, you will be seeing Lucinda do her job more than just do her part gotcha. said button but i'm looking for that three-part uh, episode but, yeah 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 but it's it's certainly a fun character to play and we we do have phenomenal writers that are that are giving us um the opportunity all of us i mean all five of us that are regulars in the cast between um jimmy and dave ramsey ellen wagram jesse bradford we all have we all have our certain storylines that people can follow which again kind of contributes to it being not just a straight procedural show and more of a show that people can kind of um, hopefully find something that they can relate to in every one of the characters. We're talking with uh, Carly Pulp. She stars as Lucinda Pearl in Outlaw on NBC, which uh, premieres, has a, a preview tonight for you. It starts next week officially. And uh, what your background, you were in, uh, weren't you in 24? What, se- what uh, season were you in 24? I was in season seven of 24. So that was the season that was kind of um, butchered by the writer's strike, <laughs> which mm. is amazing. But it actually it worked in my favor because uh, out of the deal they ended up doing a two hour prequel to season seven because That's it had been it. off the air for so long. So yeah, yeah it was it was really an amazing gig to be did a part you, of. That did you guys have a lot of episodes amazing. already shot and then you had to sort of like uh, put it all together for that little <laughs> two hour movie they did? No, they just they just did additional. They just they just wrote an additional additional, additional stuff got it. all together. All right, yeah, and, uh, so it was. Uh, it was really a cool, a cool little gig. Plus, I got to go to Washington out of it to do some location stuff in in DC, which, as a little Canadian girl, was truly amazing to see just how impressive and powerful that city is. Carly Pope, as a little but, Canadian yeah. girl, I am finding there are a lot of actors and actresses from Canada, and you too come from where? I guess British Columbia. What is it about uh, uh, Canada? It's a boot time. They start uh, sending even more actors and actresses here. Is there like a uh, do they give scholarships? A lot of great celebrities and stars come out of Canada. You know, I don't, I don't know what, um, what it is about the Commonwealth countries, but between Australia and, yeah. and um, you know, the UK and Canada, there's definitely, there's definitely a lot of that. I don't know if it's just because it's not inherent to our, you know, where we're from to have the film industries there. So the people that are doing it are working really hard to try and make it work for them. So I don't know if that has something to do with why we're succeeding or if it's just that, you know, we're just foreign enough. <laughs> yeah, well, you're from uh, what, we're Ben? For, foreign yeah. enough to be intriguing. Vancouver, British Columbia, a lot, of, a lot of shooting goes around up there. I mean, they shoot series up there and everything, so that's great. All right, now let's get the uh, details down on this thing. Your regular night is going to be, what, Tuesday nights, is that correct? Or uh, when is it going to air regularly on NBC? No, we're, we're regularly on Friday nights at 10. Oh, that's going to be regular. That's okay. our regular time slot. So I saw the yeah. preview the other night. They had it on there. So Friday night at 10. This is the official, I mean, correct myself here, the official preview tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Friday night at 10, Jimmy Smith's. Uh, Carly Pope, a great cast in uh, Outlaw, and we'll be watching you, Carly, as Lucinda Pearl. Thanks for being with us. Can't wait to see the series. When was the last time someone